Hello everybody, welcome to my upgrade to Hackintosh where I turned my PC into a, a Mac Mountain Lion OS X running machine. Last time, we unplugged the hard drives, we took out all the spare parts, including the power supply, the graphics card, we cleaned off thermal paste, and we got rid of the case. Now that we've gotten the old parts out of the old computer, it is time to put together this machine. So for the motherboard, I went with the Gigabyte Z77X UD5H. Now I went with this because from what I read on the forums, this was the most problem free, and the most recommended motherboard for Hackintoshing. So I started off my build by applying all the components to the motherboard. So I started with the CPU by removing the CPU cover. Now for the CPU, I just put a, my Intel Core i7-3770 non-K edition. Now you know it goes in the right way because that those corresponding notches on the CPU and in the socket. After that we just plopped on some uh, thermal paste and put about a piece side them out. Now to keep that beast of an Ivy Bridge processor cool, I'm using my Cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus Evo. Now since this is a universal heatsink, you should always consult the manual to find out how to adjust the mounting bracket. And uh, once I placed it on, I just simply screwed it in and bam! Good as new. So here we go, it's RAM time. I went with the Corsair Vengeance low profile RAM, 16 gigabytes. I got another 16 gigabytes totaling 32 gigabytes. Now one of the most pleasing things is the click you hear. Just like that. I want you guys to hear it again. Oh. There we go. Oh, fantastic. The last thing I have to do is just put on the fan on the heatsink and now we're ready for the case. Now the key ingredient for why I picked this case, the Frackle Design Define R4, was silence. Everything on this felt great. On the walls, all filled with sound dampening foam. The trays all feel metal, no cheap plastic. Even the fans with the, the special ball bearings that made it silent. In this case took my computer to the next level. It is an aesthetic feature, so if you're gonna spend around 100 bucks on a case, I'd say spend the extra 20 and go with this. So to start off the build, I had to put in the power supply into the case. Now the case is outfitted with them cable management rubber grommets, which uh, routing cables makes it nice and clean on the inside. Now you just want to screw it in an X pattern and then tighten all the, all the screws at the end. So now it's time to land the monster of a spaceship I like to call the motherboard. So I had to put down some motherboard standoffs, they're these golden little pins and I screwed them in. In this case, the only problem I found it was the top left hand corner, this screw specifically, because I have some big hands, so it's kind of tough to get my hand in there and screw it. So as we leave our uh, motherboard chilling out for a little bit, we're gonna put in the optical drive, which is an LG internal DVD writer, and uh, it's simply opening this little door, taking off this little blocker, and sliding it in. It's as simple as that. This case is fantastic. One screw does the job. So this motherboard comes with extra USB 3.0, which I thought was really cool. Woo! So I want to start off by apologizing to you guys, not telling you the full truth. This is going to be a dual boot Hackintosh, meaning I got Windows on one side and Mountain Lion on the other, because I like video editing, but I like a little gaming too. I wanted a real kick with my operating system, so I went with an SSD combination. I went with 120 gigabytes of Samsung's 840 series for Windows, and the 240 gigabytes of Sandus Extreme for Mac OS. Now for storage, I went with Seagate Barracudas all the way around. I already had a 500 gigabyte, which I left with Windows, and a two terabyte. So I just added another two terabyte, making four terabytes total for Mountain Lion, because that's my main operating system. Now to mount the SSDs is probably the easiest thing. It comes with four screws, but that's all you need per SSD. Now for the hard drive, everything's included. Some anti-vibration screws, which is really awesome. And it sits on these nice little rubber pads, as you can see here. Boom. All the drives are set. All we're gonna do is we're gonna place them inside the computer. Let's go. Now, if I were to show you guys this part, it would take forever. So, with one little snap, cable management is done. Everything's plugged in and ready to go. Plug this baby in and see what it's got. We have the computer all assembled. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire it up. It's plugged into the wall, but it's off on the back part of the PSU. If this thing's working, first indicate is lights will light up on the motherboard. And right off the bat, in here we have a light. So I'm gonna use this little camera to show you guys what I'm talking about. First thing that lit up was this light right here. This card, we have two, two lit up LEDs. Make sure my screen's on. Check. Let's turn her up. Some numbers go in here. Some numbers go in here. Boom! 
got the bios. We got the bios, baby. Woo! Yes! And she lives! Yes! Success! I feel so happy. Now's the next phase where I have to install Mountain Lion. Don't forget to check the description box below for all the links that I used in this build. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more technology videos. Take care.